Justin Gaethje, you just ruined Habib Nurmagomedov, Tony Ferguson. How dare you? It would seem that a pressure boxer like Justin Gaethje would walk right into the elbows of Tony Ferguson. He didn't do that. We got to see patient Justin Gaethje this time. He decided to wait back and counter. He would wait for Tony to throw. He would go slip left hook, or he would be on the outside and throwing his right hand. He did a great job making Tony miss and making him pay over and over and over again to the point where as Daniel Cormier was pointing out on the broadcast Tony was anticipating the counters. Trevor Whitman is a genius and I think he's the big unsung hero in this whole thing. He did not tell him to throw 100% in every strike. He said the opposite. Take it easy. Take some of the sting off of your punches. Don't, you know, load up. What did we see happen when he loaded up? He threw that huge uppercut. That's when he got caught hard by Tony Ferguson. I am just as excited to see Justin Gaethje versus Habib Nurmagomedov. Yes, it is a tragedy. We never got to see Tony Ferguson versus Habib, but this is going to be a badass fight, guys. I don't think there were that many people who actually thought that Tony Ferguson could defend Habib's takedowns, but when he gets taken down, Tony's one of the most dangerous and active fighters off of his back. He throws elbows, triangles. When you're in those front headlock positions, he's got those darts chokes. As soon as somebody's back hits the mat, you just think it's a death sentence against Habib. Tony was going to be the first guy, I think, in the UFC who maybe that wouldn't be the case. Scrap that. Now we have Justin Gaethje. Well, the matchup is actually very interesting because Justin Gaethje's never been taken down in the UFC. Justin Gaethje can defend Habib Nurmagomedov's takedowns, he's a worse matchup than Tony Ferguson.